Hi, this is Jimmy from the Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to teach you how to write Markdown inside of Notion. Markdown is a markup language that allows you to format text files without using proprietary um, file formats. And is really kind of cool to use inside of Notion because it can help speed up the time to format a uh, Notion page because you don't have to access the menus to format your text. So before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps out my channel. If you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button as this channel is all about teaching you how to use t tools like Notion more effectively. If I actually have a Notion playlist that I'll link up above that is nothing but Notion tutorial videos. I also have a Notion beginners uh, guide uh, that you can check out. I'll also link that. Uh, that'll teach you everything you need to know on how to use Notion from assuming that you know nothing when you start the video. By the end of the video, you should be able to function quite effectively inside of Notion. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. So I'm focusing today not on all of Markdown, but on the items of Markdown that I think are applicable in Notion for you to use to speed up your ability to create content, which is really what you're kind of trying to do when you're in Notion. You want to get in, do the thing you have to do, and get out as soon as possible. At least that's what I look the way I look at productivity tools in like Notion. I want to get the thing I want to get done, and then I want to be done. And a lot of times, one of the things that can be frustrating is I want to add formatting and I have to sort of write my content, then format it after the fact. It's a little bit redundant once you understand Markdown, because Markdown allows you to sort of inline mark up your text as you're writing it. And then Notion understands Markdown and renders it appropriately. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples here. So let's start with headings, right? Everybody has to create titles and headings and subheadings for your document, right? So if I wanted to do that in Notion, there's basically two ways I could do that without Markdown. I either type slash and start typing heading and then pick which heading I want, or I type out my heading, like title, and then what I do is I highlight it and then transform it into whatever heading I want. But both of those are sort of uh, after the fact processes or take me out of the writing process. I prefer to just simply write my title as I'm doing. So if I want to make an H1, I do a pound side space, and now I have my heading. Go back, if I want to make an H2, I do two. If I want to do H3, I do three pound sides in a space. And you get the idea. So you have a bunch of options here to make your headings and just sort of keep typing. So if I wanted to do like, if I'm laying out my document real quick, I can just say, here's my heading, my main heading, right? And then subheading one, maybe subheading two, and then heading three. And you get the idea. So now, I, notice I didn't have to take my hands off the keyboard. I didn't have to transform. I didn't have to pre preformat. I just I'm just typing, and it's much quicker, uh, even with my horrible typing skills. <laughs> so the other thing you can do is you can create line breaks. Now, this is not going to appear immediately apparent why you want to do this. So let's say I'm typing a paragraph. This is my paragraph, and I want to have a line break. All I do is two spaces, hit enter. And it brings me to the next line. Now you say, well, it already brought me to the next line if I hit one. But let's say later on, for whatever reason, I want to take this doc, this document, export it, and then put it into another Markdown editor, or use it in another thing that understands Markdown. So by doing the two space enter, and then I export this file as a Markdown file, and then import it somewhere else, wherever I import it somewhere, whether as an application I use it's going to understand that that two spaces equals a line break. And, you know, so I can move this, this document from application to application. So maybe I have, maybe I write, I'm writing a blog post that I'm going to take this that file and I'm going to upload it to WordPress. WordPress can understand Markdown. And as a result, I can just copy and paste this in there and it'll understand the Markdown and 
format it appropriately. I can move it into another Markdown editor. If I just decide for whatever reason I don't want to use Notion anymore, I want to use something else. I'm not locked into Notion. I can now move this file to, to whatever other application I want to use. So it's sort of a very flexible way of formatting your documents. Let's say, let's say I want to bold some text and I don't want to have to, you know, like I said earlier, sort of take my hands off the keyboard to do that. I can simply say, this is a sentence where I want to, and then two asterisks, bold the rest of the sentence. And then two asterisks again, close it. So anything between the two asterisks on this side and this side become bold, becomes bolded. Uh, so notice I didn't have to take my hands off the keyboard, just two asterisks, typed it when I was done with the part that I wanted to bold. So if I come down here again, and I just want to bold one word, this is a bolded, bolded word. You can see it just bolded the one word because I started it with the two asterisks, ended it with the two asterisks. Here, I started this phrase with two asterisks, ended it with two asterisks, and now you notice that the asterisks aren't there anymore because Notion understands Markdown and just creates the formatting appropriately. So really cool how you can do that. Um, I didn't have to take my hands off the keyboard, which for me at least is a big thing. You may be watching this video saying, this doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you spend a lot of time writing lots of things in Notion, this can really save you some time. Let's say I want to italicize. So I want to single asterisk italicize. I always spell it wrong because uh, I can't type well a word <laughs> you can see that italicize is now italicized if i want to italicize a phrase i can start like um i want to italicize the rest of this sentence of course i did it wrong take that one off i want to italicize the sentence asterisk period and now the rest of this is italicized so it takes a little bit to get used to two ital two um asterisks are bolding one italicizes and then if i wanted to both bold and italicize so bold and italicize i can simply say this sentence shows how to, and then the three asterisks, bold and italicize. You just do three, and then all of a sudden you can see it's both bolded and italicized. So really could save you some time as you're sort of working inside of Notion, creating, you know, content, writing, especially if you're doing any long form content, Mark that can really save you time by allowing you to format in line rather than sort of writing and then formatting after the fact or stopping the writing and, and applying format because a lot of times you're in the flow right you're writing you're creating content especially like I, I have a blog <laughs> so i'm constantly writing things and we or even writing scripts for my youtube channel and i just want to get to the i'm in the flow writing the content but there's pieces i want to format but the minute i stop when it, when it feels like formatting separate from content creation i stop writing the thing i'm writing and then i go to a, you know format it i might lose my train of thought and that you know that's that's not ideal obviously so this allows me to sort of do that now the other thing i do a lot is lists i love lists i love creating lists because they look good they're very easy to sort of capture information in and again rather than having to do like a you know a list block like a bulleted list or a numbered list, what I can do instead is I can come in here. If I want an ordered list, all I can do is say one dot space, item one, item two, enter, item three, enter. 
and hit enter again, and it just automatically generates my list. So really quick and easy to generate a list. Again, hands on to come off the keyboard to create the formatting, just ready to go. Unordered lists, you have several pieces, ways you can do this. You can start off with simple asterisk space, and that'll give you item one. And then you can do item two and same way, enter item three. That's one way of doing it, right? And hit enter twice to get out of that list. You could also do dashes, so dash space, item one, item two, item three, two enters. Um, and you can also use plus signs. So you have flexibility on which way you want to do it because no, uh, Markdown supports all three and Notion supports Markdown. So uh, that allows you to do it. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you like this video, please click that like button as it really helps out my channel. If you want to see more of my videos, because again, all I do is tutorials on how to use these apps, please click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. And most importantly, if you have any feedback, any questions, want to understand more about how to use these apps, leave a comment. I check my comments and I respond to them. So if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them for me, and I'd love to read them. Thanks.